This week, uh, this week it's going to be at noon. Next week it's going to. Really? I, I think you did. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone here at LJC Actual, switching the bits, doing all this nightmare fuel under Linux in our little penguin powered studio. That is Jordan Huang with his mighty laptop of business. Spelt with a J. Yeah. Huang. Huang. <laughs> J- J-W-A-N-G. <laughs> and of course, you know me, love him, Pedro Mateus, sustainably Hello. past his bedtime on the Isles of Britannia, together with you, Shad Realm, dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. I should have did something for that, too. It's April's first, man. Come uh, on. Co- co- cocaine, cocaine Steve Ballmer. It's yeah, just regular right. Steve Ballmer. <laughs> right. it's, it's, it's just a photo. It's of just Steve. a picture of Steve Ballmer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, man, how, how things have changed. Uh, somebody brought up that argument uh, because this is April 1st and it's been typically don't have shows on this. I'm like, yeah, we got to do something. So there you go. Ah, look at that. We're trending. <laughs> Aha. It's going to confuse the <laughs> fuck out of somebody on Twitch though when they're watching live, right? They're going to see a thumbnail. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, 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 I do like it, that it truly looks like you made this overlay in MS Paint, though. That's, that's a nice um, touch. Spent more time on that than you want to know. All right. All right. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That was a hard to get the graphics right. Um, yeah. D- does does GIMP not have an MS Paint mode? That uh, it's even got the c- correct color bars on the top and the bottom of the. Um, mm. It's color accurate, which I thought the XP like the XP like the uh, orange was more orange, but it's not. That that was the color. Okay, I, I, I it's guess pastel it, it orange. Yeah, yeah. I thought it, it, contra- it contrasts real well with the blue screen of no blue. <laughs> uh, it, it was either that or it was going to be the uh, field, right? Like yeah, green. yeah, yeah. And that it didn't look like like with the clouds and that at the bottom was going to be so tough. Well, right, right. You, you've seen you've seen the photo of that field like nowadays where it's all like dead, right? Overgrown. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so what's up? What's new? What's going on? Well, I was a little disappointed. Um, I think like a couple of people. I wanted to play The Last of Us, and um, it's not a good port, so I didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, this, Came out a bit is, rough. this is what I've been hearing. Yeah, <laughs> too, too many they, people. They, they delayed the it too. Like they, they were like, "Oh, we're gonna push this back a month because we want to get it right." If this is right, I want to see. I actually kind of want to see what what they had like a month ago. Well, we just get. Can we get that on a better beta branch? The, the thing that like really, you know, I waited and I waited and initially I was like, I was going to buy it because I wanted to play it real bad. I've never played The Last of Us. And um, then just the reports and it was like mostly negative by the time I got a chance that day to sit down. I'm like, all right, let me go grab that. <laughs> like 2000 negative reviews. Like, oh boy, you know what? Maybe I can power through it. And Strider's like, it runs great on the deck. Then I saw a video of it running on the deck. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it looks like the PS3 game, but oh, uh, no, yeah, it does, it qu- <laughs> it's accurate. It, it is not PS3 quality. Accurate emulation. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna wait on it. Like w- when the entire universe is like, I have a potato PC, ladies and gentlemen. I have two first generation Ryzen six core CPUs glued together. So, and a 3060. It's not a gaming juggernaut. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait. And uh, I'm not going to do the Spider-Man where I bought Spider-Man day one and waited six months. I'm like, hey, I can play it now. You know what? I don't care about this game anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can't, I can't even bring myself to just buy new games on Steam at full price anyways, unless I really, really want them. Like it, <sighs> I did that with God of War. And that, that was a okay experience, though. I mean, I sat and played all the way through God of War because um, it's it, a yeah, but like especially with new games, right? Like you can you can wait a year. Like all the all the bugs will usually be sorted in Proton, um, and like yeah, the game will be like forty percent off or whatever because it goes on sale because Steam sales, right? So there's usually never a downside to waiting. Usually not, um, unless it's something. Yeah, th- this was like one, one of those situations. Like, listen, man, I've already been waiting seven years. <laughs> <laughs> what's what, what's a few more months gonna wait? Uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Just pl- playing around, doing the stuff. You, uh, you've been lifting heavy things. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, my peak ended, uh, at the end of last week. I, um, uh, deloaded and I 
the the most the most impressive out of my lifts was the 655 pound deadlift. I got a, a 395 pound bench press press and a 600 pound squat out of it, which is what I wanted. So that's good. Let's see um, if we can cut live to the footage. Of other Jordan, is, bleh, look at it go. Yeah. Snap. <laughs> Crunch. I don't know. That's fine. I, I I like my 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 mishmash of like ill ill matched plates because there's like the really big one at the end and then that's that's the ten pounder and then I have a really tiny twenty five pound behind that so it's just kind of dangling. I mean, if it, if it balances, man. Uh, yeah. You guys played the Strange Brigade though on Thursday. We we did. Oh, uh, yeah, I was I was ta- I was talking with you guys in the pre pre super shows in which you guys should watch by subbing to us on our uh, Patreon Patreon dot com slash Linux Gamecast. Give us money. Yeah. No. The, I wish the, enough people like watched um. You know how they do sponsor block on yeah. YouTube? Have you ever used sponsor block? No. It's great. It's a crowdsourced uh, plugin that you can get for Chrome. So anytime people are like, hey, head over to patreon.com forward slash Linux games, it'll just automatically skip it. Oh. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> I, I, I guess uh, too bad for us. Yeah, the, the controls are fucking weird, though. Like, Q is use, E is, like, the special power, shift is, like, throw grenade. And, like, you expect all of those buttons to do completely different things if you've played a video game in the past, like, five years or so. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's definitely a bit of an adjustment. Uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, because I'm on vacation this week, uh, we're going to do the Thursday stream uh, at noon Eastern Standard Time uh, this week. So uh, if any EU peeps want to uh, drop in, you can. That's very good. Now, over here, nothing spectacular happened. Uh, although my little brother asked me because he wanted to buy a new <laughs> a new album. Uh, I can't remember the name of the band. An album? But, he asked you to buy an out one? Yeah. Uh, the Cause, band cause that he likes put out advisory a, a new yeah, put out a new album, and there's a special edition that comes with the t-shirt, and he wanted the special edition, but on their uh, band camp, they were only taking pounds, uh, like pounds sterling. So uh, he asked me, can you buy this for me? It's like, okay, I'll gift it to you. It's, you know, I'll give you a gift. Uh, no, I, I want to pay for it. No, it's a gift. Don't worry about it. And then a couple of days later, uh, he offered me Returnal, which is like twice the price of what the album costs. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so how how has your uh, Tom Cruise experience been going? Yeah, right. Uh actually it 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 plays very much like Risk of Rain 2, which I also like Risk of Rain 2, so that's fine. It's just that uh it's a triple A game, so they removed all of the variety from Risk of Rain 2 and they just focus on the one character and they made that like look triple A good. So So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's <laughs> souls like somewhere in the description. It's a uh, roguelike. Roguelite? <laughs> it, it's Risk of Rain. It, I'm it, asking you. If you've, yeah, if you've played Risk of Rain uh, 2, it is exactly like that. No idea. Uh, it, but it, yeah, it, no, it's, it's, it's not a, a Souls-like. In, it's a third-person shoot 'em up basically. Yeah. <laughs> okay. With Souls-like elements? No, not really. No. There's no chest that trades? It's a space chest? Space. A, I, I put it in space for you. <laughs> space, space mimics? There's Sp- space chests, yes. Uh, there's an alien civilization, but uh, <laughs> so let, there's let, an let astronaut. There's an astro creepy astronaut that just stares at you from a distance. There's an astro creep. Rob zombies there. All right, I'll yeah. play. <laughs> so, so how far have you gotten? I, I I saw that you posted earlier that you got through the first boss. Yeah, because Strider was saying that uh, he couldn't beat the first boss. So I'm like, oh, okay, uh, let's try yeah, to beat so, the first so, boss. So, it uh, took so me you, you, three you, tries to actually so, kick his ass, but I did. <laughs> so, so you took the opportunity to just the horse cock Strider and just be like, hey, <laughs> so I went to Strider. It's like, okay, third time's the charm. There, done. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, is there a roll mechanic? Uh, yeah, there's not like a, a roll. Like it's a, a dash. Close enough. That's all. like, yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, yeah, sure. Why not? There's no bonfires. There's listen, no- <laughs> listen, e- e- listen, Pedro. Everything is a Dark Souls. Tetris, Dark Souls. Super Mario Brothers, Dark Souls. Bubble Bobble. That's oh, why the internet has Dark the Souls. absolute fascination with this is the Dark Souls of. Yeah, everything's a Dark Souls. That's just mainstream video games media nowadays. <laughs> Everything can be Souls-like if you try hard enough, like our hearts. I suppose. I mean. 
I mean, the the, ho the horse can roll, but it's l less so like a like an active like tumble and more just like a shimmy of mass. It's the steam. Well, it's time to bring out the bagpipes. All right, and then pull one out, right? Yeah, win Windows Seven, <laughs> Windows Eight, no longer supported in Steam. I mean, Windows 7 was end of life back in 2020, and 8.1 was eol in January of this year, but, y you know, here we are. Uh, turns out that the embedded version of Chrome that Steam is using no longer supports the old versions of Windows. Too bad, so sad, your advice is to upgrade to Windows 10, Windows 11, or just buy a Steam Deck. Yeah, uh, very much with Jordan on that one. If, you're, if you haven't moved to Windows 10 or 11, because admittedly they are a bit shit. Uh, yeah, just get a Steam Deck. Bah. I mean, Windows 7 still runs on more Steam PCs than any version of Linux combined. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that Sounds should, about right. That should keep you up at night just a little bit. But you got to think about it, though. I mean, is there any other operating system whose users will probably cling on to it? Like, yeah, even if it's 15 were, years old and unsupported, like, ah, and take some pride in it, too. They're like, well, I'm still running Windows. Uh, oh, X <laughs> XP was the big XP, one, right? Like, people, yeah, yeah people were running X, <laughs> people were so soured by this stuff. They didn't even trust Windows 7. And they're like, no, we swear, this is the good one. They're like, There's nah, bound bro. to be someone out there that's, like, real happy that I'm still running XP, you guys. <laughs> I'm still on NT4. <laughs> no. When it comes to Vista, I had one experience with it because I had heard all the horror stories about how bad it was. And, and, and I guess, it, well, SSDs were not a common thing back then. And I, mm -hmm. somebody brought me their PC and I'm like, it's got a problem or whatever. I'm like, fine. I cut it on, it had Vista on it. And it really did take that long to start up that I laughed. I'm like, really? Wow. Okay. You can go do something like this. But yeah, the moral of this story, put some Linux on that old box or that new box, whatever you're doing. Because man, you know, I did find, I, I went looking. Steam ended support for Windows XP and Vista in January of 2019, which is a lot later than I thought, right? Yeah, I, I do remember us talking about it, but like mm -hmm. that was also pre-pandemic time, so... Like, yeah, who, they, who knows I, I went digging around. Those. Like The oldest version of Steam, the newest version of Steam is like from 2018 that people are putting on their retro, again, get ready to feel mm -hmm. old, their retro XP gaming machines. Yeah, <laughs> LGR did the, the build of, you know, his ideal retro windows xp machine five years ago or six oh, years ago something like that <laughs> i'm i'm sorry i have to go like walk into the sun Ret retro <laughs> xp machine I'm, I'm done sorry guys oh man it was, it was a good run uh we got a surprise though uh it's something that you can't play in your retro xp machine no proton experimental does not run in your xp machine though it can run in windows xp mode if that's your jam. It, in fact, it's required for some games. But yeah, it's the new version. It's out as of, uh, well, uh, March 31st. And the two big ones are the ones highlighted, uh, which is fix the Epic Online services failing to update for Fall Guys, Returnal, and oh other games. God. May require a Proton prefix to be created and uh, fix the experimental regression that made King of Fighters 15 uh, start to a black screen. Which... The whole Epic Online Services thing, I was really happy because Returnal uses that for some reason. Uh, but I was really happy when it failed to install and it, you just hit the dismiss button and the game starts up just fine. So I just reverted that to Proton 7 so that it can keep failing. Epic. Yeah, I I'm I'm just happy that like I can get through an entire game of Fall Guys without the game fucking crashing. That was that was like I, I saw that update, and every time I see an update in Proton, I'm just like, can gonna test Fall Guys, and lo and behold, this is this is the one. This we is can the one fucking, that did it. Yeah, we can play Fall Guys on Linux, you guys. We, oh my we god, we might try it in the after shows and so stick around. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. It's, fun. it's a fun get, game. Here's the one that got to chuckle out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's, that's that's the old old version of GNOME now. I'm gonna be on yeah, the latest. Yeah, uh, 44 just came out. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, can we get like Resident Evil Village working? Because I kind of want to play that. That'd be neat. So, like, where where do, you you're mentioning it crashes? Like, does it crash in like the intro cinematic or like? Yeah, it crashes it, through like all the descriptions in Proton DB. Oh no, I mean, I mean, like, at what at what point in the game does it? Does oh, it like crash? right at the beginning, you can yeah. There's like two places, but there's one place you'll never like get out of the um, mm. cellar of the first little house place. Okay. All it right. freezes right there, guaranteed 100%. All 
I was I was curious if it's gonna be like a one of those like weird cinematic issues or if like yeah there there's like some actual broken gameplay. It sounds like it's the latter. You know, it's it's like one of those things like I'd like to play it. It'd be nice. Somebody <laughs> sent me that gift, whoever you like I think I, it was Foxy. Might have been Michael. Might have been Game Retro. I don't remember. somebody did. And yeah. uh yeah, I like I wanted to go through it and like I'm not I don't have any nostalgia for what's the latest one that remaster that oh. by all accounts Four. is like a fantastic port. Yeah, but, the, the, everyone seems to be very much on board. Apparently, they lost some of the campiness of the original, mm. but it people really like how it turned out anyway, and they kept a lot of the fun stuff still. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, what people were saying about RE4 was like the most the, the most disappointing thing about the RE4 remake is that it didn't come out when RE4 came out because that was kind of like our, our, apparently RE4 was just like completely fucking the future. At, at the time, there was like nothing else like it. Wasn't RE4 like a Wii exclusive? Uh, it was on the it was on the Game GameCube Game Game exclusive. Yeah. All right, yeah. same, same thing. <laughs> I mean, literally. Yeah, it's Dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know, we we got to talk about that in a little bit, but uh, spoilers. We do. Uh, uh, although, still very much on the same thing, Chimera OS, which is effectively you know Steam OS, but with emulators built in and a little web session that you can access from another computer to dump ROMs and just do a bunch of other stuff directly from the browser. They're up to version 40 now uh, or 41 because they did a quick re-release. But yeah, uh, you should absolutely update to uh, version 40 before you update to 41 or if you're just going to install, just install 41 moving forward. But yeah, it is the big one is there's a new kernel uh and mesa drivers and uh the nvidia drivers uh the audio should work on the steam deck now in fact uh they they were having some issues getting it to work on the steam deck at all and now supposedly it does so that's very very good and um the they added support for the INEO2 and the INEO geek via handy gccs no idea what that is. If anyone has an Aya and they're playing with the Linux on it, let us know how that goes. It actually supports and, a bunch of different handhelds as well. I, I just want to yeah. give a shout out to that project because uh, I, I didn't know what it was <laughs> until like I started researching the story. Uh, but yeah, Handy uh, GCCS. Uh, I put the link in our show notes. You can go click on that. Uh, but it does it, it maps a bunch of the key, uh, keyboard and controller shortcuts uh, or keyboard and mouse shortcuts to the controllers so that you can have a more uh, comfortable native experience with your handheld PC. Uh, so, um, it, it supports more than just the INEOs dev. So definitely check that out. If you're just building your own handheld image, or if you're just trying to fuck around on your steam deck. Yeah. And the uh, PCSX2 for PS2 emulation. It means that now you have to provide your own BIOS, but you'll get a lot more support for just about every game on the PS2. So. Oh, great. I'll just go over to Sony and buy one. Right. <laughs> Well, no, you got, you got to pay them fifteen dollars a month, and then you can stream all the PS2 oh, games you want. Mm-hmm. Man, <laughs> so our next bit of information, we got a couple of uh, game updates, and this this is like, well, this is a new game. Do we we got to put this as a new game because it's, yeah, it's not 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 really a game. It's new new software available, but it's it's time for Snorky to get on Steam. Steam Dolphins. Yeah. It's coming soon. It's Come pretty late, Peter. Yeah, that's uh, that's all that's all we're really getting. Uh, they say uh, that it's going to be coming in Q2. Um, they will give us more information about the the limitations of Dolphin. So that's it. That, that there there is some sentence there. Um, the f- process and features of the Steam release. So maybe we're getting uh, maybe we're not getting a full featured release on Steam. I don't I don't know. It's always sketchy when like they put emulators on Steam because there's always the risk that Nintendo's just gonna swing on by and be like, hey. Hey, you stop that. But more, more, uh, always down for more first-class emulator support on Steam. It's great that RetroArch is available, and you can just install most of the uh, most of the cores just through Steam. And now mm-hmm. Dolphin, mm. yeah, and having a portable Wii slash GameCube emulator officially from uh, Steam will make it very easy for those people that are scared to drop into desktop mode. That's very good. Yeah, how does how, how does that run on the Steam Deck? Like, pretty good. Pretty okay. Uh, I haven't tried Dolphin yet. I know mm. the P, uh, no, no, uh, no. RPCS three works. That one works really, really well. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So open source games end up on Steam as well, ladies and gentlemen, and that's uh interesting. 
how they do it sometimes, but it's always a good thing, you know. It's not the first. We even have applications like Blender that are also open source available on Steam, and it's a great way to keep your application up to date. And I always want to give it a mention when I see a new title showing up. It's Cataclysm. Dark Days Ahead, a brand new game never before seen. No, it's been around for <laughs> never. A, a, a little while. A <laughs> little while, as you might be able to tell by the graphics, but you know, it's old school roguelike RPG, and uh, by all accounts, a fantastic game and a good time vampire that apparently can be played over SSH on one of the um, Lego mini light cubes. Mm. Keys with the LCDs on them. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta love the games that you can just like shell into a thing and then just start playing again. That's a, it's real good for just killing your productivity. Right. And it is 1999, which is a little thing like, wait a minute, what? it's open source. Yeah, you can always go to the web zone. You go to the web zone, download it for free. But this is just a way they set up to if you want to help fund development. Okay, 20 bucks. Which is very awesome. good. That's no. a very good way to do it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still wish that Valve would like introduce a pay what you want option for open source projects on, on Steam just so that like, you know, giving people 20 bucks is nice. You could all, if you're particularly generous, you could give them like 100 bucks or whatever. Uh, the version on Steam though, that is going to be uh, pulling the stable branch, which apparently will get updated about once every year and a half or so, every 16 months. So if you do want the latest and greatest, you're probably going to want to uh, grab it from the website, but still, it's good to have it on Steam. Just, you know, more, more open source games on Steam. Yeah, I mean, it's we'll just see. there and it's an easy way to uh, kick yep. the developers. 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Five, five people need to buy this game and he gets his 100 bucks back. So Done. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tanks. This is something we play in the after shows and more often than not. Why? Because we're always on the lookout. Now, if you know of a good game that uh, we can get at least eight people into, Send us a message, use our contact form, because we're always looking for online multiplayer games to play in the after shows. And Shellshock is something that we've been playing for a long, long time. Not as long as other people in our audience have been playing it, or maybe not <laughs> as <God>. frequently. <laughs> no. Um, there, there was a sneak peek of an update that I read earlier this week. It, it, it amused me. And, you know, if you remember DOS back in the day, this is just um, Gorilla.bat taken to the most extreme variant and that's what it is at the end of the day fun game came out in 2020 but there there was an update uh that we saw this is a pre-update saying hey you know what some people are cheating in this game and this is a one-man operation so you know quit using aim assist or like xp farming and all the other stuff or i might have to implement something <laughs> maybe just possibly to take care of that and which I always laugh because we play in the after shows and then uh, two people, Scott and Alan, definitely have oh, just a few more minutes of time in it than we do. So th they just like insta wreck us when they feel like it. But I, I just like both of them. How do, I wonder how they feel like, wait, I've been getting killed by aimbots <laughs> this whole time. And Scott, of course, Scott. Of them, just I, I mean, I, Alan is a sentient aimbot. Let's be real. So. All right. <laughs> The thing about the the sneak peek of the uh, release was all that talk about SSL. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, the, what's this about, you know, devs of the secure shell layer uh, having inside knowledge on the tank game? Because it's, it's in my the, head... It's the shell shock its layer. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's layer pi of the OSI model. In my head, this is not called shell shock live. This is called tanks. Mm -hmm. it's just tanks <laughs> it's the game nice we play to <laughs> I, I've made that mistake too it's like oh time to play shell shock in the after show just type in tanks in the fucking yeah. you know, search bar like wait a second Tank that's game. not right but there was a more uh, thorough update because 1.1 mm -hmm. 1. 1 is the out, actual right? update yeah and uh, the big one you know what the big one on this one is they got rid of the unity screen of nope oh I no! Was, then, uh, see, now, now we can do healing, but it should be like vampiric healing. You should have to well, run over and like bite the other thing. They have that. They have that. They have they have the kiss for life the steal, kiss, except, yeah. except th th those lips are not for kissing. Mm. Uh -huh. uh, for but yeah, they, they, they added a couple of new weapons that have healing. Uh, the one thing about the heal bomb here is that it will actually heal your enemies. It does heal your allies for more if you have like team set. The sensor bar looks like it could be fun. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. That. <laughs> Just, just shoot pe a bunch of people with a bunch of censored. Um, yeah. Uh, more, more, more stuff to unlock. More, wa more ways for Scott to just fucking wreck my face. What do you do when you're faced with a triple wanderer? <laughs> 
uh, wander in the other direction, I guess. Smooch. What is a kiss? Uh, a, a kiss on your butt. That's the vampire. HP? All right. Yeah. <laughs> the corrupt duster. All uh, right. That's just to get dead. <laughs> and uh, pyro slam. That sounds fun. Come on and pyro slam and welcome to the pyro jam. Dog tag cosmetic. Can you do cross play with Android yet? Probably no, not. No. Not yet. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's ever I coming. I didn't read anything about it, so probably not. No. <laughs> Um, Pong shark? What? All right, I guess we're playing that. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, sh- oh, shit! What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, he- headlights, headlights, and tail. That was what was previewed in the uh, the mini update. Of like, oh man, yeah, you can customize your headlights. It's shocking. You know Shell what? Shocking. I, I I gotta say, like, well played on that though with the announcement for the pre-announcement. Like, yeah, it might be some headlights, but actually getting a thorough uh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. update mm-hmm. on it. April, April Fools. <laughs> Uh, speaking, speaking of games, we occasionally play in the after show. Yeah. Ultimate Chicken Horse. Uh, we don't have to game. talk about that. They've said they finished that game. Oh, yeah, no, it's together. done now. They're yeah, not going to work update it anymore. Well, turns out they were fucking wrong. <laughs> they, got, they got the celebration update. Uh, they added a new stage. The train stage looks pretty fucky. And they added a new character, the turtle, um, who has an alternative skin as an armadildo. So... You know, they're the, that, 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 that's the thing. Uh, they, they added a bunch more uh, outfits as well. There's like a centurion and like a ninja turtle thing. Um, but yeah, a uh, new character and new map. I kind of want to try this out if only because like that, that train looks like it's just going to ruin everybody's day. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, new outfits. We can play more dress up. Yeah. Yay. Pirate turtles. And... No, I don't think any of us have played enough to unlock any of the outfits. Oh, except, hell no. Yeah. No. <laughs> We don't but even hey, have a Scott or an Alan in the <laughs> but, uh, this particular but, you know, game. Ultimate Chicken Force. It's pre- it's pretty fun, even if it's not getting any more support after this. Mi- allegedly, mm. you know, in, in two like weeks. For real, like, guys. By, by the way, Vul- Vulcan update. It's yeah, or, or or whatever. But you know, more more content's always good. It's a fun game. Check it out. Oh, they've uh, migrated their relay servers from AWS. To Digital Ocean. To Digital Ocean. Look at Interesting. that. Uh, they oh, fixed there you go. Foxy. What? Apparently, Foxy is the one who's played the most uh, All right. ultimate chicken hearse. I think like, <laughs> really the only thing, I mean, it's already a clusterfuck with four people, so it's not going to be that much more of a clusterfuck with eight. Mm. I think the rounds would take forever, though. <laughs> yeah, but it'd still be fun and bigger level. Mm. We put two trades in it. <laughs> two trains and an Agent Smith. Two trains. All right. I thought that was pretty cool. And it's a free update, by the way, so yep. you don't have to pay anything for it, which double good on them. All right. Well, coming up next, NVIDIA continues to try and squeeze blood from a stone. Woo-hoo. And uh, we're going to join the Turtle Club. The news. Yes. No uh, driver graphics driver updates this week. There, There's going to be some uh, new hardware support coming into the Linux kernel, but we'll get to that first. We need to, well, shill ourselves out. Uh, we're we're you know, live every Saturday night. Some of you are watching us live right now. Thank you very much. You're all truly amazing. But there's a, a few other truly amazing people who have decided, no, no, that's that's good enough entertainment that we want to fund on a weekly basis. You're only Why calling you? them cool because they're your friends in real life. Yeah. Again, I met none of our Patreons IRL. Yet. Sure, <laughs> let's, let's listen. We 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 all know they're just like Pedro Smurf accounts. I mean, listen, you, you gotta you gotta admire Pedro's tenacity to not have run into anybody listening to Linux Gamecast and living in a country the size of a tack. I mean, I, 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 th- I, th- I again, think out I'm of usually here or in the yeah, office. That is what I'm here. saying. You just got like that Tesco that Tesco uh, yeah. work, yeah. I, yeah, I, I at least hauled my butt to Cali twice to meet, to meet some of these people. <laughs> You're in uh, that continent. So, yes. <laughs> barely. Well, uh, if, if you want to help me afford more plane tickets so I can crash at Jill's house and completely destroy their couch, head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Join up. Uh, you get some cool stuff by joining us. You can get access to our Discord channel, which you can also get by subbing to us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Get in there. Uh, you can listen to the pre-pre super shows in where we talk about the weird controls of Strange Brigade, amongst other things. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we got uh, our oh, yeah, I mean, VPs running crews on the, the Strider's developing some new software. I think. Oh yeah, there, there's. I mean, there's there's a couple like ongoing software projects that people are just like 
hacking on and will just like randomly post pro problems. It's a cool place to be. There's always there's always interesting discussion happening there. Uh, we got game streams as well. I do Strange Brigades uh, Thursday uh, this week. Uh, this week it's going to be at noon. Next week it's going to really. I, I think you did. I don't know, man. <laughs> It's just out of the blue. It's like, was I me? Was that on my end? No, it's no, like, it was not. They like caught him in like mid turn. I'm like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> so yeah, he's gonna be doing it at noon. Hopefully, if Canada just didn't implode, hopefully not. Uh, I do streams on Tuesdays and Fridays. We do Trek Mania. It's a great excuse if you want to play a retro classic vintage Trek Mania game. We get together, do that nonsense. It's always a good time. We invite you to come play with us. It's super cheap. Runs on a calculator. Well, let's see what else. Oh yeah, we got a store, Pedro. We do. Store at store Linux Linux Game Cast. Cast. Ha, We both <laughs> got it. We can both get to our own store. That's uh lovely. Where we have bags and shirts and shirts with hoods on them and long sleeves. Just just in time for the spring. Um, buy buy an LGC hoodie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're in the southern hemisphere, winter is coming. So get yourself a an LGC. You hoodie. know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, if you want to pick us up something from our Amazon wish list, we got one for the studio. And if Pedro is, uh, is this Pedro? No, this is Jordan. If Jordan's no, Jordan is still alive, yes. um, <laughs> then we got uh, Pedro's list, which has got mm -hmm. game controllers and stuff like that. You can send us a note. We'll read it on air. It's it's one. It's a fair trade and probably a horrible idea. Wow, that's awesome. I, I'm down with that. Yeah, the Infinity Corridor. <laughs> Infinity. You see what Windows XP's done to us, man. <laughs> that's our version of the blue screen of death that right there <laughs> smoldering crater time we appreciate your support uh we need to thank uh feud ah yes you may know him as uh andrew w the former um project lead on Fuduntu. yeah that feud <laughs> You, you so yeah, that. he's he's hanging around in Discord. He's uh yeah, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Food. <laughs> it's been a few. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, man. Uh thanks for becoming a patron and increasing your pledge too, all in like short mm -hmm. amount of time. That's a pretty dope. And PT Dave just resubbed on Twitch. 17 months. That's very good. Thank you very much, PT Dave. Yes. That's a lot of months. Give us those uh if you're subscribed to Prime, it doesn't Bezos cost box. you anything. Right. <laughs> spend that money we'll put it to good use and uh yeah thanks for your support let us do what we do it uh keeps us loud live independent commercial free we uh basically lets us talk shit about whoever we want pretty much yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pulling no punches delivering you know the same old juvenile content and humor as you've come to expect over the past how many years have we been doing this Coming know. in on 11? You're the one that keeps track of this shit, man. You're like, I have been on the show for whatever. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I started in January 2013. So it's been more than 10 years for me. Like, so. I can tell you the show number right now because I'm looking at it. That's about as far as I get. 23. <laughs> 23 years we've been doing this. <laughs> no, it's uh, it was uh, episode 23 when I started. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you for support. Come check out what we do. Watch us live. Of course, you're probably listening to us. That's where most of you are. And uh, yeah, cool. So coming up next, NVIDIA. Gossip, gossip, hush, hush. Yeah, we got we got brand new news coming out from NVIDIA, supposedly. This is from videocards.com. <laughs> Links to all this stuff in our show notes. We got eyes on the 4050, and it may launch in two months. With a whopping six gigs of GDDR6. Too powerful. Too powerful for you. Yeah, and uh, we, we don't we don't really have a word on what the price is going to be. Ven, you have some you have some theories about that given given the <laughs> announced price point of uh, the forty seventy. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at this uh, mega size GPU. It says release dates: forty sixty Ti end of May, forty fifty June. 4060 get fuck nerds we're not not, gonna not, not decided yet <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see how well the 4060 ti so, sells and then we'll and then we'll. right you know okay all right so we already know that the 4070 is going to clock it at 599 that's just been confirmed like that's been leaked to the point of like okay we even know when the embargoes are going to lift on that ask the internet you know if you mm -hmm. want to find out the exact time so i'm thinking like 4060 ti 499 and 4060 498 <laughs> yeah that's about right i don't know i i, I was i i guess i was like a hundred bucks off my guess 
Uh, well, I guess I, I don't know if if uh, if the forty sixty or if the forty fifty is like what four forty something. I'm still like maybe a hundred bucks bucks off my my guess, but I'm still disappointed because like yeah, the, the the pricing situation has been real real bad. I've been sitting on my tuckus waiting for like seventy seven hundred seventy eight hundred news from AMD, and that has just been radio silence. Dude, and, I want you to tell me more about this fanfic universe NVIDIA is living in where they think they're going to make 4060s with 8 gigs and people are going to buy them. Right? Well, and, yeah, it's, it, 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 and in, like, it doesn't bode well for if AMD thinks that like because their, their cards are going to be like 12 gigs, well, we can charge as much as the NVIDIA ones and you're going to be happy to pay for it, right? So AMD, don't you dare. We were talking about this in the pre-pre yeah. super shows and go back, ah, shameless plug, deal with it uh, if you're a patron. But I'll bring it up again. I... I based on nothing but feels like with the market situation, I don't think when AMD starts putting its uh, toes and fingers into the mid and affordable, you know, us pores can afford regular cards. Um, I don't think they're going to have anything under 12 gig, even on the low end. Like they may have like a, the, the, that yeah, they, they may have the 6,500 and 6,400, which seriously. I think they'll have like that one, like <laughs> sacrificial card. They'll have like eight gigs on it, but that'll be it. Um, do you guys think, because we've already seen what you can make the entire bill of materials and still break even with a 16 gig card. It's called the A770 for 350. Yeah. One thing you can think Intel for is to give us something that we don't typically get as consumers as price transparency. It's like Intel put that down as like how, how much, what's lows we can go without losing money. That, and I'm, my, my, my fear is that's going to be a one-time thing because we were talking about it last week. It looks, we, we have no confirmation, but it's looking like Intel's going to be beating cheeks and that doesn't bode well for the future of GPU <laughs> pricing. No. And at six gigs of VRAM in 2023, you know, Kurt, your argument, mm -hmm. but we're regressing at this point because that no <laughs> my, games my, nowadays, if you start a game nowadays, doesn't need to be triple a even any kind of indie game that has a good looking graphical presentation it's going to be like four or five gigs of eram easily so six gigs is not enough yeah i'm 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 hard in the boat of waiting for like anything that's like over 12 that's reasonably affordable because i'm sitting here on my crusty old 1080 ti that has some has some problems running some games apparently <laughs> Uh, not, well, not the games you would think it would have problems running, but you know, well, no, no, nonetheless, I, I don't want to downgrade. I already have 11 gigs of VRAM. I don't want to go down to like eight. Right. You're not gonna, and uh, this is NVIDIA's own fault for releasing the card that I have in the box right now that we're using to stream, which is the 3060 12 gig. The, even at the time, everyone's like, wait, what? That's got more memory than like the 3080 and the 30. Why? And NVIDIA's like, well, whatever, bro. It's not like you can buy one. now, is it? And I'm like, well, fair point NVIDIA. Um, <laughs> Two years later, when I was able to buy one, but that, at least in my opinion, that was the thing that got AMD on their latest series to start with the 12 gigs and the 16 mm. gigs. Like, yeah, hmm. pe pe people want that. People, well, people are they, driving like multi monitor <laughs> displays that needs a lot of video RAM. You, you got to think about how AMD was looking at it like, oh no, NVIDIA is going to start their low end cards out with the 12 gigs. Like, mm. well, we got to, because guess what? Video card memory is cheap. It's not expensive. Like, there's no reason not to put other than I, market segmentation, product segmentation. I mean, also because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> I mean, also, I mean, give us money, that, bitch. That, 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 is, that is what market segmentation is. It's yeah. called because fuck you, that's why. That's right. Uh, yes. <laughs> the Latin phrase for it. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a little sad. I don't know. Like, I, you know, I've been ro rolling like with the 2060, 3060. I'm down with like every three years, uh, you know, cutting a little check for the lowest and greatest though you know not the latest and biggest and baddest but like yeah let me play with the new technology av1 encoding stuff like that i don't want to play but uh even at 399 like if they have an 8 gig card i'm, I'm not going to downgrade because i utilize 12 gigs i mean if you're in discord you see me post pictures of davinci resolve i'm chewing up 11 and a half all the time mm. so it's not even necessarily gaming like i've already worked that in my workflow there's not an option to go back so uh those VHS versions of LTC, man, they're intense. <laughs> yeah. Four by three goodness. So yeah, there we go. Hard, hardware right accelerated now. downscaling. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, you got to interlace it too, and like make mm -hmm. sure that like the interlace lines when they fuzz together, it actually you looks joke, like the. But I do yeah. have hardware accelerated downscalers. I sure yeah. 
intensity pro 4k by the way i learned that when i was doing the vhs video um, <laughs> all right jordan you thought this was kind of weird to put in um a, a little a little bit because if, if you actually look at the code they've added it's like one line but nonetheless it's it's nice to see it gives us an excuse to talk about turtle beach mm-hmm. the company i do believe that used to make sound guards way back in the day they, they were aspirational sound cards in the 90s like if you saved up if you were doing well in life no. Yeah, head, head, headsets, headsets was the thing I mostly know Turtle Beach They for. They were like PCI, ISA, like the super fancy, the Cadillac of your sound cards. Are like, if you could afford one, that's how you do something. It's like, oh, you balling, man. Well, anyway, they've added support for these controllers, which, hey, they're still around the recon controller. And it's got an EQ button on the controller. So that's how you know, like, that DNA is still there. It looks like a. Uh, you know what? Diseased, but not necessarily diseased in the bad way. Xbox controller. It's it's not it's not like Mad Cats where it looks like it physically hurts to like hold in your hand. Right. It looks it like looks this comfortable. looks er- ergonomic at least. Yeah. I mean, and what struck me was like it's sixty bucks too. Yeah. The the uh, the other one they added support for the um what 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 was it the um fuck brain. Oh, the, it's got not, back not paddles too. The mm-hmm. the the, re- the React R. That's like that's that one's like thirty bucks. It's it's real cheap. Right. Yeah, they're not terribly priced, but uh, the layout though—it's got the Xbox layout with the um, which is left the correct analog layout. stick. No. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like that. I, I like the 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 PlayStation layout with the two analogs at the bottom. Well, That's much so, nicer for me. Speaking <laughs> of source code, though, this is just an addition to the X, XPad whitelist. So I think mm-hmm. adding a PlayStation controller to the Xbox driver whitelist probably won't work the way you're hoping it will. I mean, it might. Maybe uh, literally all of the third party ones that you can switch between X input and D input are that. <laughs> so this a, is going to be switch. coming to us in uh, 6.2. Yeah. Officially Linux girl. All right. I, I mean, that's good. I mean, the more the barrier, because it's not too far removed. We do forget that like having the, the idea of a working functioning controller, even when we started doing this show, it was a yeah, crap shoot. Uh, yeah, c- controller support in Wine was just like uh, m- maybe it didn't maybe. exist for the most yeah, part. We, we, you, you, your, your, your solution was, hey, here's a program that just maps your controller to a keyboard so that you can just pretend that you're the, using. Um, yeah, best solution, which usually means that the, we just played first person shooters a lot. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, you know what? That, that's probably true. That's probably why there's so many fucking FPSs on Linux. I mean, SDL did not have support for gamepads, and I remember when that. I remember when like the Humble Bundle launched with like Braid, and like I was bugging Iculus. I'm like, yo, let's get let's get some controller support. I'm like, hmm, nah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> and now the, SDL is the game controller the database for yep. Linux. Yeah. It's, it's, it's great. You plug shit in and it just works. I love living yep. in the crazy modern times. Uh, I hope this doesn't interfere with the hotels, Pedro. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it might interfere with something, but Atari of all companies, uh, whatever they used to be called, because they're not the old Atari, they're they were infogrames, I think it's the current uh, holder whatever of the corporation Atari. owns the uh, IP. Yeah, w- 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 yes. whatever is piloting the, the hollowed out husk of Atari, like a fucking effectively. Megazord. Yeah, uh, they bought the game studio behind the System Shock remake, as the Engadget article puts it. Oh, uh, you, you may the know them as for Night fucking Five. up Quake. Uh, <laughs> the ones that uh, made Quake in their own engine, and people got all snobby about it being different somehow. <laughs> Oh, uh, you it's, mean it's, that it's, it's you roller ice skating? skating? Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I, I, no. I, I'm not one to nitpick on yeah, my no. new shit. Fuck but that it. felt Pedro wrong. Mateus white knighting these motherfuckers for. <laughs> I'm not no white knighting. It's just that a lot of people lost their collective shit uh, over, yeah, it, the movement was a little off, but they fixed it. So, you no, know. they didn't. <laughs> I've, Did I've they? played it recently. It, it, this is a, here's the reason I didn't get unhinged about it is because they didn't take away the original version on Steam. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, the, it's it's not an it's not an Epic Games game yet, so like, right. yeah, give, give it time. But yeah, no, they bought Night Dive, and uh, the uh, person who wrote the article is kind of speculating. You know, maybe this means that uh, Atari can focus on being a games publisher instead of running hotels and casinos for a while, and um, yeah, maybe release some of their old IP that they own from you know Infogrames. Thank you, Scott. Uh, that um, they could just 
you know, release new versions of those games using some of uh, Night Dive's uh, know-how. That'd be nice. That'd be great. You I know think. what? Here's what would make me happy. Well, anything that helps slow them down from taking previously open source IP, like the Quake Engine and stuff like that, and putting it back in the clutches of closed source corporations where they control everything at once more, <laughs> Bethesda. Um, I'm, I'm all for anything that distracts him from that, Jordan. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like Atari, when when they were launching the VCS and stuff, they're really fucking trying to push those old retro games like Centipede and Millipede and like Custer's Revenge or some shit. Whoa. But here, here, here's the thing: no one fucking cares about old Atari games ever. You um, shut up. <laughs> we can we can get a System Shock twenty six hundred D make. No, I want the ET <laughs> for ninety nine dollars because that's I, how much the oh yeah ET three D yes. <laughs> I want ET Dark Souls by Atari. I want e- Pedro e- 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 was to play the through the entire Dark Souls, thing. But, yeah, um, right. Here's what we're gonna get. We're gonna get, like ET Escape from the Landfill. Right, like <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, man. Like if if you're if you're going to if you're gonna like buy a game studio and you want to put out new games like. Go go nuts, right? Like, yeah. You know, you know what I would love to see a sequel to the adventure games where you actually had to like compete against other people for prizes and can mail shit in. I want Frogger, be- Frog Harder. Yeah, I, no, we need we need the dark and gritty Frogger reboot. <laughs> Are you just gonna say Frogger Souls? <laughs> no, no, I was gonna be like Frogger Pain. Green like Souls. Mac- it's like it's like Max Payne. You like dive in oh, bullet time, okay. oh. and you're trying to like dive, d- get through the cars, and like you can hijack the cars. That was not Atari, a good idea. I went back and replayed Max Payne on stream, and I was like, "Oh no, this game was bad." You were playing it with a controller, though. Yeah, yeah, because it released on the PlayStation. Hush. <laughs> it was never on a console. It was a PC exclusive. Yeah, I didn't say that. I'm just saying you were playing it with the shittest input method possible <laughs> so for that particular dark- game. Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> so he was waiting for that last bit to come <laughs> flopping out and like hitting the ground. <laughs> it's a shooter. Don't play shooters with controllers. Do you play Tomb Raider with a keyboard mouse? Yes. I, I, You're I, damaged. I, you know, I swap. I, I, I use the I use the controller for the platforming segments and the keyboard for the shooting segments. Uh, with Tomb Raider, I just use the mouse oh, and keyboard for everything because I like to be able to <laughs> yeah. sit back and be like, yeah, I'm playing the Tomb Raider game. Oh, I, I got a head sniper. All right, give me a second. Let me hold yeah, that I, button. I, 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 let's I get to the kill mouse. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're done. Now I'm back to running that, around. I, I think I think that is the appropriate way to play the Tomb Raider. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you're cheating man uh good news everybody there's a new version of obs we use obs to bring you the show i've been using it for a long time open source used to not be open source used not to be cross-platform but it's both those things now open broadcaster go check it out because they got a new beta out that they want you to test and it's easy enough to do gangs and new stuff i want to give this a quick mention because this has got it's just packed with stuff it's got now we have support for av1 hevc over Woo! rtmp to youtube no word on Twitch yet. Yeah, right. And AV1, I keep saying it because it is. It's the future. I still can't bring myself to get an A770 just to test that out. And let's face it, 4090 is not in any of our budgets right now. Support for multiple audio tracks and the simple output. That's good. That's going to help people out. Uh, lossless audio is also in the drop down options and simple output. I thought that was really sweet. And they fixed a couple issues with V4L2. They fixed some pulse audio monitoring issues. Jack inputs. I want to be very clear about this. If you're using Jack, my brothers and sisters, they've prefixed OBS Studio to it. So it means all of your saved routing is fucking broken now. That's, that's why you're not getting sound. Go back and redo your session and save AJ Snapshot or Carl or whatever you're using. You're going to have to. Uh, hardware decoding for media sources, which is neat. If you've got an AMD card, you can use CUDA, which you don't realize how much cpu you're chewing up um if you get like two or three elements that are playing videos in a scene like you might not even realize it and you're like whoa man that was significant drop in uh because i set that up do be careful if you get a here's a weird edge case we ran into it wednesday it took me a while to debug what was going on if you have like the original media source because the new one has an option for the CUDA acceleration but the old media source if you still have that in there and you have black magic hardware and you switched from one scene with that to another, it'll cause a hitch. Until so you delete the old media source and make sure you're using the new one. I found it. It was on a clock that was sitting there. So, yeah, uh, it would be splendid if Twitch, you would give us like a little roadmap, roadmap of the AV1 because we get Discord with AV1 encoding and YouTube's had it for a while. This is just going to make it real easy for you know, the general public. This has been in OVS for a while, we're being honest. 
I will say I'm almost done with my, I'm going to show you how to, how easy it is. Maybe it'll be the first thing that you do. First program you ever compile. Mine was GIMP back in the 90s. Get off my lawn. But this could be your first program. Maybe you want to test the latest and greatest with OBS. Maybe you want to try some of these new features that are not publicly released yet. Or hell, maybe you want to try some pull requests with some stuff. That's not in the project <laughs> at all. You can do it. And I'll show you how. An upcoming uh, OBS Linux basics that I'm working on. Put it into a nice little RPM file or a dev package as well. What do you get, Jordan? You, you've used OBS once, I believe. Yeah, every, every once in a while. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, this looks like uh, good stuff. Um, in ter- like, I, I don't, I, I too would love to play with AV1 uh, hardware uh, encode decode. I just straight up don't have any hardware that can do it, period. So wait, waiting on waiting on that shit. Um, yeah, uh, the, 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 the V4L thing too is pretty good though. The, um, the not generating an obscenely large log file because your webcam settings got refret or reset or something. Right. That's good. And, you know, they, they, they do a good bunch of, there was a um, pull request right now that I'm trying to thumbs up to get through is yet again, somebody's trying to get the new NV ink working. Mm. Somebody's done all the work. I'm just waiting for that last domino to fall of some bullshit requirements being put on the pull request at the end that fucks it up like it always does. Uh, the, the, the spacing is all wrong here. Uh, right? Yeah, I need you to, like, could you rebase this and redo everything? Uh, yeah, I want you to use Comic Sans as a font, too. Like, it's <laughs> just like, really? This is like take number three to get the equivalent of, like, Gem and V encode and OBS for Linux. Uh, let, uh, let it go through, oh, please. So yeah, that's all I got. All right. That does it for us. Coming up next, uh, we're not talking about backups. We're talking about not Back beat em ups either. It's just oh, backups. Wait, no. Ooh. Welcome back to the Chair Acquisition for Riggedy Real this time. This is where we take a game, we run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions, and then give you a super funky score based on lawn chairs. One chair means that it's not very funky. Four chairs means that it's getting beamed up to the mothership by George Clinton, and he's going to fly it into the sun. Uh, This week, we're taking a look at Backbeat, uh, done by Ichigachi uh, Games, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 30 bucks, pretty consistently priced across the board, except in Canada, where it's 40 bucks. Uh, what is it? A mashup of puzzle and strategy games. Manipulate four threads of time to guide your band through a Sokoban-style puzzle. Manage squad resources over a set of limited terms. Experience an homage to 1990s ensemble dramedies. Customize the dynamic soundtrack with audio effects. And we got a shout out, uh, Ichigachi. They sent us some keys over Curator Connect. So, Ven, how did this run on the Debians? Much shout, man. Over here in what will eventually become a Debian 12, currently Debian testing, man. Uh, Shroud Ripper, 1920X, uh, 3060, all that fun stuff. This is a slick Linux port. Um, technically, it is very well done. Um, pops right up. Everything worked out of the box. You know, not much in the way of graphics, you know, when it comes to graphical options, but considering this thing was, you know, pegging 60 FPS at UHD on a 3060, I don't think you're going to have to worry about it. X-Clone was reasonably mapped out of the box. I was able to just pick that guy up and get right to the jam session. So, we got to talk about the fun. Can we just stop writing teenage dialogue? Like, just stop? Quit? Like, not do that anymore, ever, for anything? Because it is, I've never seen it done well. I'll just say that. Um, slogging through that cringe fest versus like actual gameplay, way out of whack here. There's so much talking, so much talking. And just like, smash that skip button, fam. Second B showed up. I'm like, we're done with this. Thank you for including that button. Um, no. My initial fear of this being a rhythm game, completely unfounded, unless you consider, you know, music being played when your character moves a rhythm game. I don't. At the core, this is like limited movement, turn base, uh, reach a goal, drunken chess rules, kind of. You got like a rook drummer and some other stuff, like, you know, measured out like that. Things are mixed up a little bit by, like, especially when the drummer comes to mind because you got to like bump and nod objects to like recorrect your grid space like there's tutorials and they say tutorials during each level but eh, it's like little cheat sheets during each level that helped me out a couple times and you know you can brute force the moves of each character until you get into the home square which was a little bit of a buzzkill once that discovered because i thought there were going to be additional mechanics on top of that and turns out there wasn't so you just select your character and just like until you get to the end um 50 minutes in though i'm going to say i was waiting for something else to show up like in the gameplay loop 
But apparently that's it. You get your band members and a box, and all you need to do is get them to the box. The game got a little boring for me. And, you know, if there are additional mechanics, you'll need to introduce them sooner than that. I'm just saying. Or, or hear me out. Maybe cut like 90% of that chatter out and focus on the puzzles. And you got my attention, you know? Because that said, again, presentation, technically, well done. It's beautiful. But it's a fun little puzzle game. I don't think people, well, it's not that I don't think. Nobody's shelling out 30 bucks for that. Um, that's the price of not one, but two Hollow Knights. That's something you need to ask yourself. Is this game two Hollow Knights worth? Mm. Granted, Hollow Knight is a little sparse on the dialogue, and I kind of like that. Um, if you like this type of puzzle mechanic, uh, I'm just going to say, like, go pick up one of the Hitman or uh, Tomb Raider Go series. It's, it's, it's the same mechanic without as much chatter and, like, one-third the price. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's playable. So, maybe sort of one. Yeah, sort of, kind of, not really. On uh, Fedora 3764-bit R9 with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, it does not launch. I tried smashing that proton button. No bueno. Uh, launch is fine on the deck on the stable branch, though, so I assume this is just a problem with Pascal. Uh, I guess my, my old crusty 1080 Ti is just not hardcore enough for this funkadelic uh, nonsense. Uh, the controls are Stanley map. The visuals remind me a bit of like a young adult graphic novel, which is the vibe that the game is going for, so that works. The soundtrack I actually really like. It's pretty funky, and once you uh, once you get to the end, once you solve the puzzles, you get to watch everyone kind of strut around all swag-tastic. I kind of like it. Fun wise, oh, there's there's just so much dialogue, and try try as I might, I I tried to read through all of that. I just don't care about teen drama and and starting a band. I'm I'm an old man now. I'm I'm detached from the youths, and I I don't look back on that time with rose tinted glasses. Aside from when my joints don't hurt, uh, the puzzling is okay. I think the calming smooth jazz kind of makes it a little less monotonous. Each band member has a different movement gimmick. Uh, my least favorite is that fucking drummer. Because I, I gotta say, my immersion is real broken when the big dude just can't barrel through people at, like, a live venue. As, as, as someone who's had to navigate one, uh, one or two of these in my day, yeah, I can just kind of walk through people. Uh, and I will if I'm being blocked, because I have a place to be. So, not, not, not really my jam. Um, speaking of jams, though, I do like them. I, I mentioned them before. Uh, once you complete the level, you get the replay of everyone just kind of walking around playing their instrument. I I, I kind of like that. It's it's a nice little reward. Um, puzzle solving is pretty brute forcey, as Ven mentioned. Uh, there are some mechanics in terms of like stagger, where you can't like have people walk, follow the paths exactly, and um, you'll get scored based on like how much stagger you do have at the end. So there there's some there's some variety of mechanics there, but at the end of the day, you're really just going to be uh, you're you're going to go through each party member and get the easiest one to the thing, and eventually you realize, oh, I gotta like undo a bunch of stuff for this one party member or band member, I want to say because you know. Uh, this guy has limited movement ability and he needs to walk that way in the same way. So I got to squirm around. It's not, it's, it's kind of lightweight brain exercise. It's middle of the road gameplay with some pretty good presentation. So I'm going to, I'm going to give it two chairs. It's got some technical issues, at least on old NVIDIA cards. And yeah, that's, that's kind of it. What about you, Pedro? Yeah, over here, uh, I didn't try it on the 1080, uh, but uh, it launched out of the box on the desktop with the Ryzen uh, 7 5800X 3D and the RX uh, 6700 XT and on the deck using the um, uh, the beta branch. It also started just fine. It holds 144 on the desktop and respects the hertz setting that you have on the deck. The controller, yeah, it works fine. I just ended up using the mouse because, yeah, you just pick a direction, so it was easier to just use the cursor and uh, wiggle it about. Um, although, speaking of the cursor, the, uh, the cursor wasn't locked to the window unless you were using Gamescope. Uh, but so, yeah, I ended up using the uh, directional arrows to move the camera around too. It was just easier like that. Uh, the graphics are fine. The conversation screens tend to go on a little longer, but I'll get to that. Uh, the audio could use uh, some work for a game that is supposedly about a band coming together. And that kind of leads uh, to the meat of my problem with Backbeat. The characters need to shut the fuck up. Ironically enough, I suppose. But uh, yeah, 
There's no voice acting, but there should be. Uh, the two to five minute dialogue at the start of literally every level should be replaced by voiceovers while you're playing through the level. It would be much easier to digest, and even if you're just listening to people deliver bad dialogue, it'd probably be a bit, you know, funnier than having to read it. Now, yes, voice actors can be expensive, but then again, so is your game. 30 bucks! 30 actual pounds sterling. Yeah, um... <laughs> When it comes to video games, I'll be the first one to admit that uh, I like the gameplay more than literally anything else. I will excuse a game that has poor graphics, it doesn't sound particularly good, as long as the gameplay is on point. And, you know, the graphics could look like programmer art, no voice acting, or even price to not sell, as the case may be. Steven Sausage Roll comes to mind, also terribly expensive, uh, not particularly, uh, you know, um, uh, pretty as we would call it, but it's fully functional. It's a solid gameplay loop. And you, once you grok the gist of it and you can do it fairly quickly, then it kind of sells itself. I don't, I, I didn't hate the, uh, Sokoba and styled puzzles actually working around the limitations of the characters and getting them to where they need to go. Absolutely. I, didn't mind that, but I failed to see from, you know, just the gameplay alone, what about this game makes it about a ban? Is it the two to three notes that each character plays when you pick a direction? Is it the fact that they're holding instruments? It's missing something because turn-based movement Crippling puzzles? drug addictions. Yeah, probably. <laughs> just getting so high that you don't really know what you're doing anymore. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> It is, uh, it's like turn-based movement, uh, puzzles don't really gel with the concept of a musical band in my head. So it gets two chairs. Wait, yeah. Uh, two chairs. Two chairs. Uh, two chairs. Yeah. Two, two, two chairs. I, I, I brought it up, like, uh, the, the, the fact that, like, you have the limited turns. I thought that there was going to be a me mechanism about, like, having to stop at the end point at the same time because, you know, or, it's, or a, it's a music game. right? Yeah. yeah it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a music game. Like, actually have, like, timing and whatever as, like, a like I had to, I could make mechanic. these two moves, but it affected the way the other people moved in some way, shape, form, or mm -hmm. fashion. Yeah, yeah, and It's yeah. like, nope, just let character power through. Or, or. Or even like have the have like um, the other band members be like blockers for the drummer guy, so you can like keep them in place, or mm -hmm. and then like have him bounce off. Like there, there's definitely potential there for like a cool music game that isn't necessarily a rhythm game. But I feel like they didn't they didn't play with it enough, mm -hmm. right? Also, I really wish you had an ability to rotate the camera because that isometric view is kind of tricky when it comes to like some of the areas you need to navigate, and you're like. Why can't I go there? Oh, there's an object there that I just can't see. Or like, well, this is but to your point, like if I could see a need for that, if there was a penalty for movement, which there's not. So you just right. smash, smash, smash. Oh, I go this way. All right. Good. Um, now, yeah, to, to what you're saying, like it's missing that something that would transform it from, yeah, it's a fun little puzzle game to something that's like $40 worth of, uh, mm -hmm. like $40 yeah. Canadian, man. Like <laughs> it, that, that, that's rough. It's a fun little puzzle game. But it doesn't like we're not innovating on anything here. We're not doing anything like I haven't seen before, done and done better for less. Uh, a lot of work went into the game. Uh, I'm going to say again, presentation is good. It looks good. It functions well. It runs great. But as for the it game itself, it's more <laughs> just doesn't feel finished. Well, it, it feels if this is what you were going for, I guess it's done right. But um, it, 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 it feels lacking in some way, right? Like there, 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 yeah. there could be, there could be more here. There's like, there, there, there's an absence of, of mechanics. I want to say. Yeah. I expected to do more or more different or something. Yeah. It's like a lot of work went into the look, the feel, the sound, the sound. Yeah. Like, yeah. And like bless their heart. Somebody tried to write some stuff for this, but, um, <laughs> Well, I mean, let's be honest. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, 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 it's it's not it's not thirty dollars. If this goes on sale for like ten, yeah, definitely check that out. Yeah, um, you know, and I mean, would, would, as would I you, said, would you even recommend it for fifteen? Uh, here's the thing. Here's the beautiful thing about it. You can download the demo. Mm -hmm. So that is what you need to do before you do anything else. Yes, and uh, mm -hmm. just go download it. There's a Linux version of the demo. Oh, hey, play it. 
and uh, have some fun with it and see if it's your thing. Cause that, that they did the right thing there. And I like, there's one review and it's been out since the 15th. So I think all people have downloaded it and went, mm, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I checked the, I checked the, um, the, the forums. Cause I'm like, Oh, is anyone else running into this crash? And they mm-hmm. are empty. Yeah. So. <laughs> that is unfortunate. All right. Indeed. Coming up next. Beautiful, beautiful, pretty colors in my face, in my eyes. Ah! RGP. It's written like it was red, green, and Pedro. Yep. There's some uh, discussion going on about what this particular segment of the show is called. It used to be the hate mail. It could be the hate mail, hat mail, uh, hate mail. That 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 works too. Hat email. Although, I don't know. <laughs> this is going email, nowhere. E- so, uh, email Pedro about hats. <laughs> just, just your or favorite. Or you hat. know, Pedro, do you you have a, you used to have a hat? Yeah, I used to have a hat. Uh, once Nori got a hold of it, it uh, was a burn hat. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Atomic. <laughs> but yeah, no, I was no, talking that, about like that brown Stetson thing. You used oh to no, the the cowboy hat. Uh, that one still exists, but it's in Portugal. I couldn't justify <laughs> bringing no, no, it. Nori here. burned that one too. <laughs> You, you brought no, it into the bedroom one day, and she's just like, "Nope." She pulled out her revolver bedroom, and shot uh, it off in my head. university place that was there, and she uh, spent yeah, some nights in my bedroom. In your there. wallet was hanging over your left shoulder. <laughs> yeah. We have yeah, the uh, hats uh, on the doorknob. Come in. Yeah. This is Bring the feedback the section, and if you have some feedback for us uh, or some genuine hate mail, you can absolutely send it our way. Uh, hit. Linux, uh, LinuxGameCast.com. Hit the contact Don't button. Don't hit it. Fill out Go the to form. the site gently. <laughs> no, hit it. Smack it like you. No, owes you money. I don't know. No clap. <laughs> no clap site. <laughs> but no, yeah, the, no chlamydia. You heard it first. That's what the there's some caveats for. at the top uh, before the uh, the form. You got to read those because if you don't and we don't see your message, that's on you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would also like to admire the uh, whatever marketing person went through the trouble of doing it manually to send us an opportunity. We get like every other month we'll get in a, we had one person that was like, we, we got one company that's like straight up approached us to fucking buy some ads on the show, but fuck that. And another one, which is more common though, they want us to review the Amazon speaker gaming speakers. Mm. Right. <laughs> I, I again, I want, I, I want, I want to review the Amazon like forty ninety, the Amazon basics. <laughs> yeah, Amazon basics GPU. <laughs> See, th- this is we're not going to sell out on principle. Thank you to our patrons, but <laughs> listen, hear us out. Um, we'll sell out a little bit, like just, MSI, just as a treat. Just yeah, as right? a treat. Just, like, just call, a small one. Call us. We we just want to see what it feels like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it won't be like that, baby. Um, oh, Str- here's. Strider. Oh. Yeah, here's a uh, earlier this week in our Discord. If you're a Twitch sub or a patron, you get to hang out in our general disarrays and chat. Um, and that's our Slack. That's everything we talk about. Like, there's no private. I mean, there's technically a private chat between us, the three of us, but that's not where we communicate. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for whatever reason, oh right, Strider accused you of like only liking gray and brown yeah, video uh, games, only and liking you, desaturated things. You so, oh, you said nay, Strider. Nay, uh, I have multicolored games, and you showed recently played. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Strider, Strider asks. He, he s- sends in his lovely little email. He asks the simple question: Does Pedro hate colors? And if so, why is that? And I had a follow up statement, but I'm not going to say that to not incriminate Pedro. Mm-mm. <laughs> Well, I didn't get to plead the fifth since I don't know what Jordan's talking about. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't hate colors. It's just that my eyes apparently seem to prefer the more muted, uh, aesthetic. Um, I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> then Strider was giving me shit because when I posted the picture of the beholder and I looked at the gift section, it's like, you looked at the gift section and you picked the least saturated one. Fucking why? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't. <laughs> what, what what's what's like the brightest, most uh, loudest, most shouty, colorful game that you enjoy? Uh, APB is definitely up there because that one is very colorful. 
Mm. Uh, let's see. After recent uh, ones that I've recently played, they've all been pretty <laughs> color muted. <laughs> Oblivion, Oblivion's very colorful. There you go. Mm, it's like Strider standing in the middle of the living room going, but I was not wrong. <laughs> well, Technically so, so, not wrong, yes. <laughs> he, do, he, do, he doesn't hate colors, he just has extreme distaste for them. He right. Strong, strongly prefers that they, they be in the other room. So, GPU pass-throughs. Uh, we were talking about this a bit earlier and uh, trying to decode what is going on. Uh, this comes from, how do you say that? E- er- e- er- er- Erk? Eric, 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 um, Eric, <laughs> Eric the Red, famous Viking. I know about Proton and it's amazing things, but some games and other apps still need Windows. No, they don't. They don't still need to Windows. Uh, uh-uh. uh, is there an easy way to set this up with AMD, which I'm assuming video card? Yeah. So yeah, you, GPU uh, pass through. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> vert, vert IO, you can pass through a GPU, uh, to a virtual machine, assuming that your motherboard supports IO MMU and that in that specific slot as well, because specific mm-hmm. slots may, may or may not support pass through on your motherboard. You got to check all that stuff out. I would actually, as, as much as we give the arch user shit, their documentation is very good. So I would recommend arch wiki is arch nice. Wiki, yes. <laughs> uh, for that specific article. Um, couple notes, you will not be able to pass through your inter- any uh, integrated GPU. You will need a dedicated GPU. Um, and yeah, you, you, you will, it'll be essentially like outputting to a separate display. So you're either going to have another monitor dedicated to your Windows VM and another keyboard and mouse dedicated to your Windows VM. Uh, or you're just going to do what many people do and have Linux boot and then boot the VM and then just connect to the VM and play your games because you don't just want to install windows on your hardware for some reason. I guess, I guess if you want to like be able to switch back to Linux or if you're like running a server, if you just bought like an over, over stuff PC, like just, just like dual boot, just, just install windows. Yeah. Like, or yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah if you're going to use windows, just yeah. Install it, run it native. I, yeah. Again, we were saying during the break, like, yeah, like that just sounds like somebody looking for something to do. <laughs> You know, fair enough. And if that's your thing, then yes, AMD is going to be the easiest way to do it. More so than NVIDIA, because with and NVIDIA, you said you're, you're going to have two video cards to do. You, well, at least an iGPU and yeah, you, yeah, yeah, an iGPU yeah. to drive the host display, and then the external hang GPU. On, that hang on, Pedro. What? What if I have an Intel dual CPU system? Uh, Both little IGPs. Um, so the the, uh, the <laughs> usually the, uh, the dual the G- uh, Xeons don't have integrated GPUs. So uh, so <laughs> it's it, it's it's actually the the lanes that uh, ha- that the GPU are accessed by don't actually support pass through for the IGPU. I, I actually did try to set something like that up, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just like you can't pass the integrated GPU to the VM. You need to. I mean, here's an entire list of them. <laughs> Got all of my GPUs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, the 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 E threes do. All right, cool. <laughs> but are are they PGPUs or eGPUs? I don't know. It was a joke. But they're then. integrated <laughs> GPUs. So yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, you know, they got the, the P cores and the E cores. Is it, is it the PGPUs? <laughs> and the oh, PGPUs? oh man. Here, here's a side one. Did you hear like Intel's going to release a uh, enthusiast? That was an enthusiast. I don't forget how they tried to fucking sell it. It's nothing but P cores, but it's like ninety P cores. <laughs> So it can do a lot of shit really slow at once. <laughs> or is, is, isn't the E core the energy efficient ones? Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No the E cores are the efficient E-cores, ones, and the P right, cores right. are the performance ones. It, the the okay, little bitchy I, I cores. Got right. I, I got it. I got it in reverse. Okay. But yeah, it, no, the AMD GPUs are the easiest ones for pass through. Nvidia, you need to pull some driver shenanigans yes. to get that to work. So yeah, with AMD well, is probably the easiest way to do it. <laughs> I think you, you need to pull the driver shenanigans on Windows if you're doing GPU pass through to Linux. Yes. It just fucking works. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, in the Windows host, as soon as the drivers see, no, no, you're running this in a VM, it's just get, not going to let you install them. So, be yeah, like, dude, <laughs> yeah, j- dude, j- Just install Windows. Yeah, like, I, I learned everything I wanted to know. Like, I, I spent an afternoon just seeing what was required to set up, like, hardware pass through of a firewire card. I'm like, fuck this noise. <laughs> I couldn't imagine doing it with the GPU. Like, why? It's the same. You're effectively just telling, no, this uh, PCIe port uh, is only going to be seen as a root complex by the host system. And it's the GPU, the GPU or whatever you're passing through inside the VM. It's going to act like 
the proper hardware that it is. <laughs> yeah, the the the, the I, don't, I don't know. In my mind, the justifications are something like, oh, well, I don't want to install Windows on my host operating or as my host operating system. Why, if you're all you're doing is in Windows, like, yeah, I, I, I guess my question is, like, what are you doing in Linux? And what is like that one thing that you can't do in Windows? That's what I want to hear. I want somebody to write in and like straight up justify it, like shut us the fuck down and be like, listen, bitches, th- this is exactly why <laughs> yeah. you got to do it. I, I mean, like, I, I could see something like, uh, like my, my wife set up where she like wants to use Illustrator some of the time, and but even then, like a dual boot will set that up, right? Like she just needs to reboot. Uh, I, I have opinions on that being dumb, anyways, because like, why would you reboot your computer just to run another program? Well, okay, that seems kind of even when I think about dual booting, it's been a long, long time since a dual boot. But we live in the world of like NVMe's and SSD. Like booting an operating system is not a prolonged experience. Like it, it's at best get up something to drink in your back end, right? Yeah, you still gotta like log in and shit. I don't, I don't know. It's it's it seems like a lot of pain for literally just running a different uh, uh, one specific program. Well, what I'm saying is, it seems like a easier than setting up hardware pass through with. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, just installing Windows on your computer is the easiest option. <laughs> not having to, if, if if that's the case, right? So and the added overhead know. of having two OSs running at once, even if the Linux host is very lean on resources. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, like, what you're 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 getting you're getting what ninety five to ninety nine percent CPU performance with like, QMU, which like you're still taking a hit on that, right? So, I mean, listen, then I was running Windows ninety five inside of Linux in the nineties, so yeah, on my K six two four hundred, just to see if it could, and it was usable. So yeah, I'm sure shit has improved slightly, but still, why? That's what we want to know. Let us know, maybe. Or maybe not. It may forever be a mystery. But on, uh, let's do a bit out of here. Can you do a bit out of here? Yeah, we can. Let's cue the music. I, I just got to reboot my computer one second. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you for attending tonight's train wreck. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm at Vinstone on Twitter at uh, Vin on our federated timeline, mass.lenningschemecast.com. I'm doing the stuff over there. You can always catch this show. Come say hi to us live, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, an hour beforehand. If you are a Death Note patron or above, we'll be there for you. When my power holds up, I am Jordan Svung. You can find me on Twitter at TheBurningFool or Bastodon. I'm Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. And you can still find me on Twitter not posting anything other than the Hey, we're live for this very show and the occasional retweet uh, at unaccounted for. I'm technically on um, mass.linuxgamecast.com was at an account with the actual number four at the end. So you can follow me there, but I, I post there even less. Just follow him on Steam and send him a bunch of messages. Yeah. And yeah. if I see your messages on Steam, it's a lucky day for you because I usually only see them when I'm shutting down in the Did window. Did you hear that, up. Internet? That's called a challenge. <laughs> Are you going to win the Pedro lottery? Enter now. <laughs> see you next week. Time for some credits. Usually and usefully wrong. Usefully wrong. Helpfully yeah. wrong. Yeah, you can very just helpful. go the, uh, the opposite direction. Incorrect. And be right. yeah, yeah, very helpful. Yeah. Cordial about it. Indeed. Well, as our fans go out in the space, we got to thank our advisors, Omegas, uh, and our Theron, and our executive producers, Bob Bram, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, drummer Kohaku Pebble, Tomas Hakim, David. We got our little Nikki fans, Super Desto, Empty, Glory Segral, Blasmia. <laughs> and we got our sea monsters. We have sea monsters. Renault, oh Ryder, X, Magna, Trudgy, Veritanuta, Justin, Frostclaw, Nubbin, Darkwing, System, T, Danzing, Joe, Ogi, One, Kyrillo, and Foot. Death Pedro's Notes, old boss. Okay, uh, Leonardo, Dak, Doom 2.1, Turnover, Basil, Cheesy Bacon, Foxy, Chappie, Romeo, Alex, K, Mashley G, Stephen Joel, so many, Benjamin, so Aromatic, many, Dev, Dodger, so Zander, stinky, Gaming, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, oh. Foxy, Swine, Oil of Hope, Jalu, Alex. I'm, I'm distracted, man. Uh, Strider made ch- chicken nuggets, dude. Um, oh, man, I want some chicken nuggies. Yeah, we got a thing. Yeah, yeah. Biatko, D-Spec, Replay Gaming PT, <laughs> Unoid, Sacred Egg, Tom, Livid Mark, Biatko, and these fuckers. If somebody, sir, uh, thank you, all of our fine upstanding cannibals. You're on the blinky wall behind me. Forever. Ha ha ha. Evil laughter <laughs> intensifies. Ah, 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 ah. Dying fire, everyone. Toodles. We'll see you next week.
five dudes.